Understanding Colorado 2, Levels in the Human Body. Hello everyone, and welcome to today's video. In this segment, we'll be exploring an important topic related to our body's functioning, carbon dioxide, CO2, levels. Carbon dioxide is a waste product generated by our cells during various metabolic processes, and it plays a crucial role in maintaining the acid-base balance in our body. Today, we'll discuss the normal range of CO2 levels in the human body and why it's essential to keep them within this range. What is the role of CO2 in the body? Before diving into the normal range of CO2 levels, let's briefly discuss the role of carbon dioxide in the body. CO2 is produced as a byproduct of cellular respiration, the process through which cells generate energy. It is transported in the bloodstream and eventually eliminated by the lungs through exhalation. One of the key functions of CO2 is to help regulate the body's pH balance. Carbon dioxide combines with water in the blood to form carbonic acid, which can dissociate into hydrogen ions, H+, and bicarbonate ions, HCO3. This mechanism, known as the bicarbonate buffer system, helps to maintain the blood's pH within a narrow range, preventing it from becoming too acidic or alkaline. What is the normal range of CO2 levels? Now let's talk about the normal range of CO2 levels in the human body. The normal range of CO2 is typically expressed in terms of partial pressure of carbon dioxide, PACO2, which is a measure of the pressure exerted by CO2 in the arterial blood. The units for PACO2 are usually millimeters of mercury, MMHG. In a healthy individual, the normal range of PACO2 is generally considered to be 35 to 45 millimeters of mercury. This range ensures that the body's acid-base balance is maintained, allowing various physiological processes to function optimally. Deviations from this range can indicate underlying health issues that may require medical attention. What happens when CO2 levels are abnormal? When CO2 levels fall below the normal range, less than 35 millimeters of mercury, a condition called hypocapnia or respiratory alkalosis may occur. This can be caused by hyperventilation, certain lung disorders, or metabolic imbalances. Symptoms of hypocapnia may include dizziness, tingling sensations, and muscle cramps. Treatment involves addressing the underlying cause and restoring the balance of CO2 in the body. Conversely, when CO2 levels rise above the normal range, greater than 45 millimeters of mercury, a condition known as hypercapnia or respiratory acidosis may develop. This can happen due to respiratory disorders, impaired lung function, or other systemic factors. Symptoms of hypercapnia may include shortness of breath, confusion, and lethargy. Treatment involves addressing the underlying cause and providing appropriate respiratory support. To summarize, maintaining the normal range of CO2 levels in the human body is crucial for proper physiological functioning. The normal range of partial pressure of carbon dioxide PACO2 is generally considered to be 35 to 45 millimeters of mercury. Deviations from this range can indicate respiratory or metabolic imbalances that may require medical attention. I hope this video has provided you with a better understanding of the normal range of CO2 levels in the human body. If you have any further questions or topics you'd like us to cover in future videos, please let us know. Thank you for watching, and see you next time.